I can't imagine the, da the Danish government allowing us to run around. Is it Tivoli Gardens? That's where, yeah, Tivoli just wrecking stuff and blowing things up. I think that they would have some. He has had a tremendous year. Michael Price is the bodyguard of the year. Woo! <laughs> How hard is it not to burst out laughing yourselves whenever Samuel Jackson laughs doing shooting? <laughs> pretty it's not it's not easy to be honest i mean there's a lot of the set is you know if you were to visit this set you'd see that there's a tremendous levity and laughter and lightness on the set it's a it's a nice place to work everybody's having a good time everybody's really enjoying each other you try not to break laughing in the middle of a take you know because we're all trying to be professional but as salma knows all too well the director is the one who would ruin all the takes he was laughing, <laughs> he was laughing. And making a lot of stuff but Sam doesn't he laughs after the take it's really the discipline of the two of them huh? they don't break for anything but when he laughs it's like an earthquake in the on the set he can laugh very loud we were shooting in a studio in London and they literally had to move my monitor outside the studio doors close the doors so I would watch through like with my headphones on and then because then I was allowed to laugh all I want because the doors are soundproof. The problem was they put me, we were shooting in the middle of winter. It was snowing outside. So all the crew are inside filming and I'm out in the snow watching these guys um, and I'm just cracking up laughing. And it's one thing I'm, I'm trying to trying to learn to do better on set as a director. You shouldn't be ruining the takes. First time I'm starting to imagine a life without bodyguarding. This really feels like a new book. Do I know you? The mafia took my husband. Kill them. We have to go get him. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm under strict psychological orders. The hitman's bodyguard and hitman, hitman's wife's bodyguard takes place all over Europe, but you haven't been to Denmark yet. How would you imagine a third hitman's bodyguard film in Denmark with Matt Mikkelsen as the villain would look like? Oh, I would take it. This is a good idea. Eh? I like it. I love Denmark. I've been to Copenhagen three times and I love it. I cannot imagine us. I can't imagine the, da the Danish government allowing us to run around. Is it Tivoli Gardens? That's where, yeah, Tivoli just wrecking stuff and blowing things up. I think that they would have something. To say. Everything in Denmark is so beautiful. Like you wouldn't, I, you'd never want to mess anything up. It's like pristine. What, but what if he was... Maybe he could be my twin brother, Ryan. Ooh, I like that already. <laughs> Start typing, Salman, now. <laughs> I promised my therapist no bodyguard. So that means no guns, no killing, and no blood. What is he doing here? Are you using pepper spray? I'm on sabbatical. <laughs> Um, this must be like the ultimate third wheel film. Ryan, how did you feel about having to be in that position between Samuel and uh, Selma? I'm very comfortable being third fiddle in anything. <laughs> um, you should see me at home. Uh, three daughters, so I'm fourth fiddle. Um, I, uh, I, I love it. I like reactive comedy, so I'm, I'm getting to kind of react to these incredibly insane characters around me. Yeah. And I love that. So, I mean, reaction comedy, reactive comedy is so much fun for me. It's something that I've always loved and um, just getting to sit there and kind of, I also selfishly get to sit there and enjoy these two. I get to enjoy Salma and enjoy Sam and their interactions and back and forth, which is a pretty damn great job to have. I would make a great mother, don't you think? Oh my God, a child would be so lucky to have you as its host. <laughs>